Hi. Today I'd like to show you how I build a D&D &D game table. This table can also be used for different board games, as well as game design. Now, I don't have any video of the process, but I did take pictures along the way. The gaming table is 6 feet long and 4 feet wide. It can seat about 6 people comfortably, but could be large enough for 8 people. Uh, the table has a 42 inch LED TV built in for displaying maps or game boards or whatever it is you want to play. And the table also has a top so it can be used as a dining table. So um, here's the build from start to finish. I started off with a layout for the box that will be the play area with a hole in the center to accommodate the 42 inch TV. Then I added strips of quarter inch plywood around the TV area that will have felt on it, some sticky felt, for a better grip when you roll the die. Then I made a template out of some scrap wood that would be for the cutouts for the side drawers. Then I also made a larger similar template for the drawers on the ends of the table. Here you can see the routed strips of wood needed two strips per side for the drawers to slide in. Then I put the TV in the center to make sure the hole was the right size. That also gave me an idea of how much space there was left and how deep the drawers are going to be. Here's a couple more shots from different angles. You can also see the larger routed holes on the end of the table. That's a, a large drawer on one side and a slide out on the other side. The slide out will be for the DM, uh, for his laptop to sit on or to put stuff like cards or whatever, maps, whatever they want to put on it. Uh, the, the slide out is about 30 inches long and about 16 inches deep. Now, the inside part of the table is taking shape as you can see. I routed the slot around the inside of the game area so I can glue in an LED strip for added lighting. Then I made the outside walls for the table the same way I made the inside walls. Once I screwed those onto the base of the table, it was time to make the top frame for the players to lean on and also to install cup holders. I cut a 1x6 strip of pine into thin strips nailed and glued those to the sides of the three quarter inch plywood where you can see the plywood layers just to make it look a little you know, a little better so it looked like it's real wood then it was time to stain the table and test the LED strip around the play area Next up, I added power outlets with USB ports on both ends of the table. The DM can plug in the laptop as well as charging phones if needed. The outlets have a plug on the other side that I can plug into a power strip. Uh, the power strip is housed underneath the top frame. The LED strip adapter is also plugged into the strip. And then the power strip cord goes underneath the table through a hole that I drilled in there. And also um, added an HDMI connector to connect the laptop to the TV. And a small hole on top of the outlets that you can see there, that houses the IR sensor for the LED light strip. So now it's time to make the drawers and drawer fronts. The drawers are made out of three quarter inch plywood with quarter inch plywood for the bottom. The fronts of the drawer are made out of one by four select pine. Then I use the router to round off the sides of the fronts. The drawer slides are full extension so there's more room for die, cards, etc. You know, whatever you want to put in the drawers. 
Then I cut eight holes around the table to drop into cup holders. Next you can see an almost completed table with the drawer fronts installed. Sticky felt was used to line the drawers and the inside of the playing area. Then the plexiglass goes on top of the TV so you don't scratch the TV surface while playing. The drawer pulls are added and it's time to test the setup. Thank you for watching.